Welcome back. We we're still getting the lobby set up as Neeb was uh, allowed to ladder on NA while he was waiting. Yeah, in fairness, uh, a series between Nurcio and anybody I don't think would necessarily always be that quick. <laughs> so, uh, really, a lot of times we tell these guys they can go ladder during games is because we expect, well, they've got like a half hour wait, probably at least. It's a best of three, right? Yeah. Yeah, usually Nurcio plays defensive in the ultras, so that second game being like three minutes long was not anticipated. But Ziggy is ready to go. So, um, yeah, we don't know a lot about Ziggy. I like, said that we've probably cast him before. Well, actually, all we need to know about Ziggy is that he's got the sweetest fucking portrait in game. Yes, that is true. He does have the Hello to Boot Time portrait, so we all look super cool together. I bet Neeb doesn't have one. He's going to break it. Shout out to Ziggy. But Ziggy is a Polish player, apparently. I was, uh, I was asking Dares who, who he was. And he's Terran, so he beat Keen in the TVT. That's pretty good. Yeah. Grandmaster on the EU server. I mean, I I know I've seen his name before. It sounds so familiar. But never seen him in the semifinals. Or beat any of the guys we expect to get to the semifinals, like Keen. I get a bacon hero for the 100 bits. Dethrones Riamar. Did y'all miss my face? Maybe. Did y'all miss my face? <laughs> it's not being shown. Yeah. Let's see what the cat cam on. Oh, it's not working. That's what's happening. Uh... There we go. There it is. It's Apollo this time. I would love if people started like describing us by cats like oh she's being such an Apollo today. What does that mean? That I'm beating up on people? <laughs> no, you're just like oh look at me, I'm Apollo I don't know what I'm saying here. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you don't. Um actually there you have two who are waiting because Nugget's behind me, sleeping. So it's pretty cute. So actually, Nugget, I feel like, like if I was like, oh, Zyra's was being such a Nugget today, I'd be like, like, I'd use that after you've had some coffee or something. Nugget, she does get super hyper, man. Like, today she was meowing, and you, you, she doesn't usually meow. You know, sometimes she will when you're, like, next to her and she wants attention. But she was, like, meowing, so I was like, oh, no, what's wrong? Like, I get up and go see, and all she wanted was to chase me. So as soon as I went back to bed, she was, like, all up in my face and, like, doing, like, flips over her head to try and get my attention and it was pretty adorbs. I bet. Uh, in the meantime guys, looks like Neeb is back online just by the way. Cool. So it'll be a PVT into, um, I'm gonna guess a PVZ but Ziggy already surprised us once. I... Well, so here's the thing, like, Ziggy, good, bad, whatever, the fact is he's coming up against Neeb, and Neeb's not had bad PVTs, with the exception of, like, maybe Gumiho being his white whale. Uh, so I gotta be favoring Neeb going into this, even even if it was a super Gosu Korean Terran, I think I still favor Neeb going into this. That's but, true. gonna wish Ziggy the best of luck, maybe he can show us a really cool upset. And it's a best of three. Turning off on Odyssey. That's all I got. Well, this rhymed, so good job. Thank you. I don't usually get to rhyme too often. You wasted the opportunity. I'm really mad at you now. I, I take back. I take oh. back the, the rhyme compliment. Okay. Well, on the top left is the yellow Terran. It is Ziggy. Holy shit! And he's the yellow player, just kind of like that gold Nathanius I've been gifted in chat. I didn't oh know you God. could gift those. I didn't Interesting. Know Must be one of the new Twitch perks. His opponent in the bottom right is going to be the red Protoss Neeb. Or Neeblet. Mm. I'm going to remar for more bits. Bits, 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 bits. Boop, 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 boop. 
Well, it's already the second semifinals, so a bit of a quick Corsair Cup so far. I know we said we were going to talk about the Caster Tournament later on in the cast. Um, but I also don't know much what there really is to talk about it. For me, it's still kind of surreal that people are taking it so, like, this is the greatest thing ever! It's going to be an awesome tournament! I can't wait for it, because, like, I don't know, I just thought it was be something you... kind of cool. Well, the thing is, right... Uh, I don't want to get into it now. We'll wait till we're between games. There's actually something to be said on that statement, too, but... Um, I don't know. I guess this is the opener. Fuck it. So, a lot of you guys might not know how a lot of the casters play. Um, I do, though. And I know how good versus bad some of these guys are. And there's folks who make the argument, like, oh, they're not that good, or they're not that bad, and uh, this person chokes, that person doesn't choke, etc. But I think the group drawing... And this this very well... I'm going to make this clear, guys. Before I say what I'm going to say, and I said this is Zombie but I've said it to Todd, I've said it to everybody. I came into this tournament with the understanding that I was going to lose, and the idea is that I would go down gloriously. You know, I was going to proxy Thors or do silly shit, right? That was my plan for this tournament. So, as I say what I'm about to say, don't misunderstand this as like whining because like Rifkin wanted to win or anything like that. But I don't think that the group draws are very good. Uh, when the, when they had initially talked about the prospects of the tournament, there was discussions about trying to group folks by their MMR. And I think giving folks like, for example, I'm thinking like Fear Dragon might be one of the lower ranked players in the caster tournament, a chance to actually play some games in the round of 30 or the round of 16, but then get stomped in the round of eight. That would make sense to me. Instead, they went with a random group draw, which I misunderstood. I didn't think it was even an option. Again, yeah. not salty, don't care personally. But they went with a random draw, which means folks like, well, myself definitely included in this one, but Fear Dragon and Maynard and those of us who are not as high ranked as some of these other guys who have been GM consistently through the seasons are going to get knocked out in very not fun one-sided series at the start of the tournament. So, for example, regardless of myself, again, this is not talking about me, but like looking at somebody like Fear Dragon. He's going to get 3-0'd, 3-0'd, three -oh or 2-0'd, or 2-0'd, or whatever the, the, the matches are. And the thing is, those games aren't going to be close or that great, in my opinion. And that's going to happen with a couple of the folks and a couple of the other groups, too. And I'm not trying to, like, out people to say, like, well, they're just shitty fucking players. Maybe they should learn to play. But it is just that matter that they are, in fact, lower skill level than some of their opponents. So it's not going to make for very, I think, fun groups. So everyone's going to be super hyped. And I just, like, don't want the tournament hype to die down in the first round of the tournament, you know? I guess. I mean, those were the two options, and I did vote for the the first one, which made it like more similar MMR together. Yeah. But I mean, I'm in an okay group, so I don't I don't really have a lot of passion about this. But I think people aren't really excited, to be honest, about us anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, like, I, like I, I'm trying to make it as clear as possible. It's not supposed to be about us. The statements I'm making now are not supposed to be about me. Like, it's just as a as someone who was going to watch the tournament myself. I don't think the other groups are going to be very fun to watch. Yeah, but it's it's more it's definitely more about like the round of eight anyways, which is like what eventually it would go down to anyways. There's a lot of anyways. Um, um, because people like want to see more like Rotterdam versus Todd and in control versus Todd, a lot of PVPs, I guess. And if anyone can actually beat Pig and Yogo, apparently is super good. So definitely more people are talking about that, regardless of, of everyone else and their chances. But um, I don't know. I just I I think it'll be fun. It'll be a good opportunity to at least try and practice while I'm in Korea. But we did have the game start off a little bit weird and then go into well what we see here right now, which is just defending against oracles, which is pretty usual. But I do believe that Nee went for a one base Stargate, but I definitely know that Ziggy went for a command center in his main, which was very odd to me. First of all, not many Terrans do that. It just it it really interrupts the flow more than you think it would. Especially as you get into like really, really, really high, uh, like MMR. That's the reason you don't see any pros do it. And then another reason is that the only reason you would you would do it is if you thought your opponent was unnaturally cheesy. So like hero, but Neeb isn't really like I don't think I've seen uh, Neeb do the pilot what? rush too often lately. Yeah, he might not be like the cheesiest of cheese player, but I think Neeb can be kind of cheesy. Yeah. So I don't think this is the worst. Thing of all time, but you're. I agree. I agree. Like it's, it definitely upsets the flow of things, and even as somebody <laughs> who plays the game pretty slow myself, it can really screw things up on my end too. So, Ziggy, who's actually good at the uh, game, I'm sure is annoyed having to do this. Oh, oh that widow my shot, though. Are you for real? I was gonna say up until that point, Neeb was doing Fucking a great beautiful. job dodging the widow mines. 
I thought he saw the line too, but maybe just move commanded and forgot or didn't see it after all. And that's a pretty big deal. That is both oracles going down. Now, Neve has blink almost done. He's going to be able to deal with this. I think. Oh, oh no. Just, just blink. Bit of a. Bit of false advertising, though. Like, it shows the blink stalkers, but not quite blink yet. <laughs> <laughs> false advertising. <laughs> Fucking that's... esports promise is broken. Like I promised you blink, but it's not. That's uh, that's what I'm gonna call like whenever someone's faking something. Like I wasn't really mean to push, just false advertising. Um, but no, that's uh, I think like if you knew they didn't have blink, if you like canceled or something like that, then you could have sniped a couple of stalkers, right, and then gotten out. But that was too dangerous to let happen. That's like trying to snipe high templar when they have energy for storm. Like maybe storm isn't finished, but you don't want to try that. Mm. So it just dodges out. And Siggy, okay, he's stopped producing. No, never mind. Wrong, wrong production tab. He's still producing SUV, still getting up to his um, that good economy. He's managed to save his army, and he has a 10 army supply lead going up against pure gateway units that haven't quite exploded yet. I mean, Neeb was a bit slow even to his third base, if you're really going to depend on gateways only, you know, stargate to gateway. Usually that third base comes like even before maybe five minutes, but this one is a little bit later. So, uh, while his army's, you know, good, it's just not the same kind of, like, 16 adept warp in, or not quite that crazy, but you get the point. <laughs> how it looks, how it feels, uh, that you can see in other games. But Ziggy isn't all consolidated anyways, so he's really not finding any luck with the, these little run buys. Anyways, uh, just a quick note here. About the bot, I guess the uh, laptop froze, guys. Sorry, it happens once in a blue moon. Uh, I did restart it, so bets were unfortunately lost, but also means nobody actually paid anything either. So it's just it nullified the bets from the previous series. Uh, so apologies if you guys were really, really banking on some sick payouts or something like that. Oh, rip. Well, their base is up and running. Neeb already at 60 probes. Warp Prism, upgrades, all finishing up. He will be behind in upgrades. Iziggy's already on his way to plus one armor. But, ooh, Robotics Bay and our another Robo. Um, gonna guess for Colossus, but... Transitioning into Colossus after mass gateways. Happening uh, pretty quickly, all things considered. Ziggy is uh, finally setting up his third base. He's got a wood of mine and a missile turret to help deal with the war prism he knows has to be on the way eventually. Just it's a Protoss thing to do. Scans, trying to see what the army is, but unfortunately misses it. I love people nerding about the wood of mine in chat, by the way. Like, <laughs> I guess it was a few minutes ago for us, but uh, yeah, Ziggy getting a, a Oracle double kill with a wood of mine, like against a player like Neeb, that goes like in the Guinness Book of World Records, I think. Oh. Or is good wood of mine usage. Well, this <laughs> is a nice little run by. Finding the one point that an observer or stalker or whatever it is isn't scouting is going to get the well, Nexus. This... Holy shit. Okay, so that's a really good pickup, but Neeb does do some counterattack damage too. Warp with the depths to the main of Ziggy. Now, mm. this is not exactly destroying production, and I don't actually think there's much killing power, so I'm actually a bit worried for Neeb after this attack. Yeah, this really wasn't a lot. There was so much army left over anyways for Ziggy, who just had to move it back into the main base. His third base is denied for a second, but Neeb lost his natural and, like, a dozen probes from it. Now, Neeb is going to try and push, and he does have a 10 army supply lead, but he is down in upgrades. Warp is going to help micro. The tanks are being left alone. They're going to go down pretty quickly. Just trying to run back to deal with it. Okay, he ends up saving them. They're getting a lot of shots. Liberators, even. Not being target fired. There's not a lot of stalkers to target fire them, either. They're just doing free damage at this point. They're finally a blink in, and more warp ins coming in. I guess maybe Neeb still has the firepower to make this work. But damn, that was closer than I thought. GG. GG. I thought Ziggy was really getting the upper hand that game. I'm surprised Neeb got the uh, the victory at the end there. Yeah, I think if he had protected his tanks a little bit further back, like his bio was actually in front of them, and the Liberators are pre sieged, maybe he holds and Neeb overcommits. That's going to send us into the second game. It's Sequencer. Ziggy already whispering me. All right. I like Sequencer. I think it's a pretty fun map. Yeah. I just remember, actually, Sequencer, <laughs> when we first loaded into it the very first time, we're like, is this an optical illusion? Like, the map's mini-map was like an eyesore to look at. <laughs> it, it is. It still is. It's an odd map, for sure. 
Well, in the lobby for it, just waiting for, I guess, the player go-aheads. Oh, thank you to Hero Marine for the huge host. Whoa, Hero Marine, what's up, dude? Thank you kindly. And, uh, I guess, oh, this is probably gonna be wrong. Guten Tag? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Regrets are made the second it left my lips. Sometimes it is better just not try at all. <laughs> oh. Wunderbar. Thank you for the wunderbar host. And we're moving on. In the bottom <laughs> left is Yellow Terran. He is Ziggy. And his bottom top right. Gonna be one of the scariest Protoss players anyone could have come up against. It's gonna be Neeb. Just Although for someone who like doesn't seem to care about whether people call him Neeb or Neeblet, he has been playing on like Neeblet everywhere. It's his Twitch name too. Make up your mind, Neeb. Well, he's always started off as Neeblet, didn't he? Like he's always been his name and his stream. But I he... actually do not even know. I think that's how I, I think we've actually had this discussion before because it sounds so familiar. But that's how I saw him in game when I first met him like four years ago as a Terran player. But then he signed up as on tournaments as Neeb, I think is what, what happened. Also, I, quick I note, I know that nothing malicious was said, but we just timed out this fake Neeblet in chat. Um, and I know it was not something being done, but like they're not trying to pretend to be Neeb, but the fact that you got the same name, dude, and I know there's check marks on Twitch now, blah, blah, blah. You gotta use a different account if you want to be here. Personations, not okay on Base Trade TV. Uh, that being said, he did bring up a good point where Neeb is streaming. And yes, the matches are live, but we have a stream delay on our side to prevent tournament cheating or even the potential of cheating. So again, while we uh, encourage you guys highly to check out Neeb's stream, keep in mind, don't bring spoilers back here, please. Also, big thank yous to Duddles and Remar for the bits. Remar with a big set of bits coming in. Huge bits coming in, even. Yeah, that is a lot of bits. Unfortunately, it looks like the bit boss did bug out for it, though. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. But for those who don't know, if you if you end up cheering back to back, it doesn't count one of them. And there's no way to control or fix that, and it sucks. Yeah, so Duddles got there first, so he's still oh. the boss. On that note, by the way, uh, almost all the cheer modes that we got are done. Um, we're just waiting for the. I think 5,000 and the 10,000 animations to upload them all. And they look, excuse me, pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Well, uh, this time Ziggy not expanding with his command center in the main base first. Just because we're for the low ground. Looks a lot nicer. Stargate is on the way immediately after that Nexus is... Oh, finished. <laughs> it's already done. Ziggy has a Reaper. There are certain... There are a couple points you can jump up on a sequencer. Goes for the behind the nexus. Um, okay, he's gonna get in there and see the Stargate. It's right there after all. He can even leave. Oh, no, no, yep, yep. Chewing out the shade. There you go. And he's gone. So we need to see now he can put his Wood of Mines in proper position. Last game, of course, he had that sick Wood of Mine hit, but only after the Oracles had run amok for like one or two minutes. Um. I guess he was going to try and go for tanks initially, then change his mind. Looks a little odd to see a tech lab that fast on a factory. We'll see if he uses it or he transfers over for like ravens or something. Hmm. Well, certainly not needed for the wood of mine. But he's getting that anyways. He wants something that immediately killed that oracle. Reaper's still dodging and weaving and trying to get back into the main base. Probably wants to see if there's going to be uh, continued phoenixes. A robo, a Twilight Council, anything, unfortunately, by jumping up into the main basic and he misses the third base timing, which, as I said, if you really want to go, f like, Stargate into Gateway, you can go for a Nexus before five minutes. This was before four minutes. So quite fast. Probably a little safer you can get two Gateways before it, but Neeb just figures there won't be any harassment done. And he's right. It's a very long map. The only thing Ziggy could do is just kind of run forward to the, you know, bare amount of marines and hope that it does something, which he's not doing. And he did go for a very fast tank. So... Well, Neep scouts it. He's looking for the wood of mine. Eagle eye. Okay, sees it in the main. Okay. 
Ah. Ah, mine's pretty perfectly positioned. You're not gonna get anything done there. It's not with Ziggy controlling his units. Uh, Mister, it's not going down. Make sure it doesn't get any damage done. Tanks still being produced. I do wonder about the tanks. I mean, defensively, there's a lot of good properties about tanks if you think they're gonna be aggressive, but if you see a Stargate opener, I think that's chance is pretty low. That they're gonna be like super, super aggressive beyond it, like immediately. So I think he's just prepping for an eventual tank push, but then that's also in question because Sequencer is a long map, and yeah, if he was gonna tank push just two well, tanks, he doesn't have stim or combat shields. I think one of the things I do like about the map, though, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, this kind of reminds me of, uh, what was that, uh, Ascension Eye or whatever. Uh, there's a lot of places to use high ground potentially with said tanks. Mm. Yeah, uh, certainly high ground, low ground, lots of ramps, lots of plateaus to put your tanks on and then just let them be. Neeb is expecting this as he did scout it thoroughly. Now, the nice thing about this push, besides the potential abuse of the ramps with the tanks, is also that it is attacking so damn fast. Oh, nice trigger with what am I? Uh, Neeb really doesn't have a lot of army, but he did manage to squeeze in his extra gateways. He's getting phoenixes. He still is, you know, doesn't have resident glazer plus one, sure, but he might just have enough army to deal with this. Ziggy very hesitant to siege up, it looks like. He's really maybe thinking twice about this push. Oh, Neeb actually just comes in here, picks up the tanks, so they're not picked up in the medevacs, only one would have been able to anyways, and the tanks die, and Ziggy doesn't do very much at all with this push. Neeb didn't even, I think, break pro production to defend against this. The only thing it wow. did is, I think it delayed the Toilet Council in the Forge, but not by very much. Well, the Phoenix give chase back across the map, and uh, unfortunately with what? Everything dying. This feels pretty bad. What am I? They get okay hits, but nothing phenomenal like last game. Oh, two base ghost academy. Uh, uh this isn't like a see the void beta. <laughs> you see the idea? You saw so many adepts, and a ghost can be a response to adepts, but it's really got to be out the back of. I mean, I guess two bases can work, but I would really like think three bases, or two bases in a, in a much later game where you didn't just lose most of your army. What of mine's the only real protection that Ziggy has against these adepts. There's not even that many of them. There's not even a war prism. <laughs> hacked you, Duddles. Or you hacked, Duddles. I'm going to take you down. Noise. Mm, adepts. <sighs> this, is, this is just a little too far gone, I think. Oh, yeah. I think so, too. Adepts might have been cleaned up, but the Phoenix is now taking control over the production. Neeb is still on three bases, 70 probes. Got his gateway finishing up here, plus one resident enclaves. All he really needed was a war prism, and this would have been game already. Good focus around the Oracle. Um, but since that was missing, he's just letting his Phoenixes do whatever they can. Oh, thank you to CPP Maniac for the 29 month resub. It's a long time to be a sub. Mm hmm. Ghost is on the way. One ghost, one beautiful EMP could hit a lot of adepts and a lot of phoenixes. But it's only one ghost. They're kind of expensive to make mineral wise. Not a large army to help reinforce it. And it's like, okay, you get the EMP down, but you know, if you can't DPS the army, then you can't DPS the army. And Neeb is coming forward already. His adepts are here. His war prism is on the way. They're shading in. Find a couple marines. Well, uh, I feel so bad for these widow mines. Like he's actually getting good hits with them, but it's just they're not enough to really finish anything off. There's no phenomenal kills like on those oracles before. And what looks like, especially with the help of this ghost, he might mm -hmm. hold this attack. I mean, Ziggy's been bleeding out so much through this game. His worker count's not existent. There's no third base. And he's moving on to a fourth behind this. Like where's yep. upgrades are very favoring Ziggy. What? Or, excuse me, Neeb. I have the uh, bars released, or reversed. Yeah. Neeb already has way to plus two and plus one with the double forge now. Colossus on the way, as he said, fourth base. And while it's limited minerals and limited gas, it is still a fourth base. I do think if Neeb just continued warping in, he'd probably you know, be able to run over Ziggy, but decided not to. You know, the other eight adepts that were running in there just ran back home. But Colossus... 
are gonna do what I guess maybe the adepts could in against the EMPs. I mean, Colossus can be EMP and it helps, but you gotta actually get on top of the Colossus afterwards. And there's absolutely no Vikings and really no chance for Vikings. It's already difficult enough to afford ghosts on two bases, much less like double yeah. starboard on two bases. <clears throat> that kind of reminds me. I wonder. Um, I guess because we're kind of we're watching the game be a little bit one side now. I wonder how viable ghosts the ghost rush is nowadays. Oh, like the one base proxy? Yeah, we haven't seen that in a while. I guess Protoss just got good at defending against it. It's Well, it's just this funny, again, like the game's like pretty in a bad way, but uh, good game, good luck for his new show. Good guy, good guy Ziggy on his way out. Uh, I was just thinking, like, we're watching how good ghosts are in this terrible scenario that we found him in, right? But ghosts are still pretty freaking good. Yeah, I think we saw Ryung try and go ghost off of two bases. I'm not gonna draw. Oh, on the hot scale, I'm a 10, baby. Oh, that does not work if someone donates. <laughs> what? I had to kind of hack the Twitch alerts bar so that it wasn't super tiny text, but because of it, like the donation images and gifts don't work out very well. And we just got uh. a donation. So thank you to Tom KD for the $10. Ace Kate and the continues on. Who do you think he's cheering for? Nurchio. And that'll be coming up next. Need versus Nurchio in a best of five. Starting off on Ascension to Ire after this break. <laughs> 